Hello everybody, MBR here, and we are back with a brand new rebuild today. I wouldn't really call it rebuilding, I'd call it... See how many Super Bowls you come in, because we will be rebuilding the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, this team is amazing. I'm just going to put it flat out there, I love this team. Their defense needs a ton of help, that's going to be the main part we'll be rebuilding. But this offense, man, this offense is legendary. Patrick Mahomes is on record to set the passing yards for a um, season record, and I'm pretty sure he's on pace to set the touchdowns record too that Peyton Manning did set. Kareem Hunt's an absolutely electric running back. We learned that last year. He's following it up in his senior mm -hmm. campaign. Tyreek Hill has been lights out. He's been lights out. I can't really, you know, you can't knock him at all. The guy is electric. I'd call him a top five receiver, top five, top ten receiver. We have Sammy Watkins here, who's a very good compliment to him. A guy who just, another deep threat, but he can catch the ball. Sure hands, I like him. The one big part about this offense is going to be the offensive line and rebuilding left side. Eric Fisher was an absolute miss. He's been decent at left tackle, decent at best. And then you have Cam Irving here, who is Cameron Irving. So, yeah. Defensively is where we're really going to need to fix things. Anthony Hitchens has been decent after having that kind of breakout season with the Cowboys. Reggie Raglan, another guy who's been decent. Um, definitely going to try to look for a better middle linebacker. Free safety, something that we need. We had two good cornerbacks. Kyle Fuller is going to develop. Not so sure about Steven Nelson. I'm pretty sure it's a contract year for him. And... I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him just yet. I know Justin Houston's getting up there in age. We have a very good defensive line, though. Alvin Bailey, at least, like, 30, isn't he? He's about to be 30. But Derek Naughty, the rookie, who looks very, very good. And then you also have Chris Jones, who has been very, very good, too. Along with Eric Berry, who is just always good, because he's Eric Berry. But um, for people who are putting on the trading block, I'm going to look towards Orlando Skandrick, just because... But Orlando Skandrick has not been good at all for these Kansas City Chiefs. Um, he's been kind of targeted, and a lot of people have been going after him. So he's going to be one of the guys we'll be adding to the trade block. And the second one is going to be Ron Parker. Even though he's played very well. Well, not very well. He's playing, he's playing good. I'll give him that. He's played decent, good um, for these Kansas City Chiefs um, for, what, the three years he's been there? I'm pretty sure three, four years he's been there. I actually don't know if Ron Parker was drafted. I don't know where Ron Parker started. I'm not sure. I'm decently sure that he didn't start with the Chiefs. Decently. But, yeah. But, that's kind of what we're doing right now. Um, we're also going to sim to the end of the season. So, I will see you guys at the end of the season. Or, if we have any trades. See you guys then. But, we didn't make the playoffs. Did not make the playoffs. Um, I did already upgrade everybody, so we're 93 and an 85 now. Patrick Mahomes had a very good season. Very, very good season. Very surprised. Four, oh, 4,100 yards, 33 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Rushing Kareem. Kareem Hunt, 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns, 2 fumbles, though. Receiving over 1,000 yards for Tyreek Kill, 12 touchdowns, 773 and 3. 9, 13 and 6 for Chris Conley, wow. I mean, 594 and 4. And 4 for Kareem Hunt, too. Blocking. Decent, decent year. Defensively, a lot of tackles, but I don't expect to see very many sacks. Yeah, or interceptions. A decent amount of interceptions, but this defense was definitely our weak point. That's something we will have to get down. Le'Veon Bell, who is going to go to the Chiefs this next year, um, wins MVP. In the AFC, it's going to be Le'Veon Bell, of course. Patrick Mahomes there at number 5. Kareem Hunt there at number 10. Defense players being Vince Williams. Anthony Hitchens actually making it there at number 6. Offensive rookie of the year is going to be Baker Mayfield. No Chiefs. Defensive rookie is going to be Jerome Baker. With nobody there. Alright. We are chilling. Um, honestly, I think that... Free agency is probably our biggest thing here. Free agency and then the draft for cornerbacks. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be looking for a new middle linebacker, new free safety, and 
a few new cornerbacks. That's going to be our biggest thing. We didn't get to trade anybody. Nobody wanted any of our old players. So I had Breland Speaks start most of the year at left end. He did very good at left end. So let's hope he can duplicate that year. And I'll see you guys during the offseason. Okay, so we will be bidding on just one person this year. And that's going to be Trevor Williams. There's a few guys who are pretty interesting in the top 100. I was definitely looking at David Irving to play a outside line uh, outside linebacker to play a end for us. Same thing with Trey Flowers, but I just didn't really want to pay all that money for either of them. So I decided not to. We're just going to go for Trevor Williams, try to get that cornerbacks, you know, a little bit a little bit set up so I can maybe use my first round pick on something else other than cornerback cuz where we're picking, I'm not sure. There might be like someone like a DeAndre Baker left, but I kind of want to pick somebody else. There's somebody else I have in mind. So let's hope we get that person. See you guys are in draft. Okay, guys. So with our first round pick, we'll be picking up Trey Adams, the left tackle. <sighs> All right, 74, but he is going to be a quick development. So he's going to develop quickly. He is a scheme fit. I don't intend on changing our scheme at all. So hopefully he's going to develop quickly for us. Um, he's actually probably going to be under... I'm probably actually just going to start him, depending on his ratings. 92 strength. This might be crazy, but I might actually move him to end, not to guard. Moon to guard. That might sound, actually sounds pretty good. We'll see what we do when we get there, but who knows. Okay, so now with our second pick, we'll be picking up Juwan Johnson. Um, this is one of those guys who I'm kind of hoping that name value comes through here. Uh, good combine, not good top three skills. I was going to pick him up here because with our second second round pick, I don't think he's going to be there. So, Juwan Johnson, 75, star development. So, he's going to be our new free safety now that we did not re-sign Ron Parker. Okay, so now with probably the last pick I'm going to show you guys, we're picking up Albert Okunibanom. I need another tight end. I need a second tight end because I did not sign back Demetrius Harris. So, I think Albert Okunibanom fits this perfectly. He's going to be 73. Only quick development, really. I think he's a little bit better than quick development, but hey, it's my opinion. Very good tight end, a possession receiver, kind of what we need just to kind of contrast from um, Kelsey. So I think it'd be pretty good for the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay, guys, this is what our team is looking like. I think our offensive line got a lot better with just the addition of Trey Adams. We moved him out to left guard, and we decided just to keep Eric Fisher there until we can maybe find a better replacement for him. Um, 75 overall, quick development, scheme fit. Can't ask for anything better in the draft. Overall, we're looking very good. Very good top three receivers. Good running back. Patrick Mahomes is looking nice. Defensively, we got better in some areas. Definitely have free safety, strong safety, and cornerback. We have gotten a lot better in all those areas. And also, gotten a lot better in the D-line. Um, linebackers, D4 has went up. Um, Justin Houston actually went regressed down by one. I'm pretty sure he's 28 now. He's 30. So let's just hope that start development kind of keeps him where he is for right now. Still need to get some better middle linebackers. I got Khalil Hodge there. But that was kind of it. I did also decide to sign Anthony Johnson, who turned up to be a well, sign. We drafted him in the fourth round. 71, quick development. If we were really playing him, playing him, he would probably be pretty good. But we have some guys. We have some nice, nice guys. I'm going to sign a backup running back, too, just so we're not playing with a 68 overall running back. Um... To, I'm going to sign you to a one-year contract. So, J.D. McKissick. Actually, yeah, he'd be a pretty decent running back there. So, we'll sign J.D. McKissick. And I don't think there is a reason why we shouldn't make the playoffs this year. So, without further ado, I think I will see you guys. I'm going to say, first round by, we're going to the divisional round. I'm excited about this team. 9-3 overall offense, 85 overall defense. We've seen worse teams get into the playoffs, but we also seen better teams not get into the playoffs. So, let's see what our looks looking like. Alright guys, so, like I said, we did make the playoffs. We couldn't get the bye, but we went 10-6, and six, and we're in the wild card against the Cleveland Browns. Um, I already upgraded everybody. Looking at the stats, oh, Chargers are coming in. We were third in our division. Wow. Alright, 3,900 yards, 33 touchdowns, 5 interceptions from the quarterback out of Texas Tech. Rushing 1,300 yards, 5 touchdowns for Kareem Hunt. No 1,000-yard receivers, but wow. Sammy Watkins led us in touchdowns and yards with 9, 23, and 10. 
Tyreek Hill, 852 and 7. And then Travis Kelsey at 851 and 6. Blocking. Another decent year. Defensively, not as many tackles for Anthony Hitchens, but still having a very good year. 95 solo, 21. Well, 121 tackles in general. Tackles for loss. 12 by Anthony Hitchens and Chris Jones. 11 by Breland Speak. Someone had 10 sacks. D. Ford and Justin Houston both coming off the edge for 10 sacks. 5 for Chris Jones. 4 for Anthony Hitchens. Looking at interceptions. Not as many as we had last year, but it does look like we patched things up back there a little bit. Dealer rewards. Carson Wentz is going to win MVP. Really? Wow. Patrick Mahomes nowhere in there. He should be here. Yeah, he's number four. Phillip Rivers is going to win it, though. Defensive players will be Jatavius Brown. Anthony Hitchens coming in number four. No other Chiefs. Often the rookie is going to be Ryan Finley. Albert, Okuni uh, Albert Okunibaram. I can't pronounce that name very well. Is going to be there at number six. Defensive rookie is going to be Devin White. Hey, Jawan Johnson coming in number eight. That's something I will take. I'll take that all day. Something I do want to show you guys, too. I was upgrading everybody. And Tyree Kill. Now, it's 98 overall. 98 overall deep threat. 99 speed, 99 acceleration. Amazing route running. Good catch in traffic. Good spectacular catch. 99 agility. 95 release. 94 catching. If we're in a desperate situation, I am not hesitating if they are putting him in press coverage just to streak him down the field. There's especially if he's on a slower cornerback, not hesitating. But I will see you guys in the wild card round. I'm I'm calling Super Bowl. I am calling Super Bowl. Let's see if we can make it. Okay guys, so we are here in the game and it looks like we're already starting off strong. 7 0 lead, but it does look like uh, it does look like they're gonna get seven two. It looks like we're definitely trading blows on offense. This is going to be a highly contested offensive game. I'm, it's looking as if we're up two scores. I'm not going to come in for a two-minute warning. 28-7, to 28-14, to 28-21. Our defense needs to get better right now. I'm going to take advantage of this one. We're on the one-yard line. Just so I at least have one play here. And we're just going to run the QB sneak. I don't really think it's... Just run the QB sneak in these types of... Like one inch or something like that. Makes no sense not to. That or a fullback dive. Two of the absolute best plays on this. On the one yard line. And is it just me or do you also hate it? They always keep you in that little thing there. But Patrick Mahomes is going to rush in for the touchdown. That's what I like to see, man. That's what I like to see. They're going to go up 35 to 21. They're going to go up 28. Mm. We're going to skip this moment. Red zone alert. I'm going to skip it. Third down alert is where I'm going to take over. Or third and nine. I just want to run the clock here. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I want to run two clock. And we're just going to run the ball. Uh, it makes no sense not to. Just because I'm not trying to give the Browns any extra time on the clock here. They're just going to run it. Going to get stopped. Wow, Trey Adams got destroyed on that. And then, big field goal kick. We're going to kick the field goal. But, we're going to probably kick like 20 seconds left. So, I probably just missed that. My first time playing Madden today, I probably just missed that. So, I'm going to let it run down. And, I'm probably just going to take the delay a game, honestly. I'm going to take the delay a game. Or, I'm going to call a time. No, I'm just going to take the delay a game. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because we might need those timeouts. We're just going to let that one extra second run off. We're going to take the delay a game. Then we're going to kick the field goal. Or not. Okay, Butler. Okay, Butler. All right. You want to kick that even though it was a terrible thing by me. Harrison Butker, man. 38-28. We're going to win the game. Wild card game down, divisional game next. Hopefully you guys are excited. Okay guys, so it looks like the Chargers are going to start off pretty well right out of the gate, scoring three. But it looks like we're going to score seven. We got to keep it going here. We definitely have to keep it going. Red zone alert. Third down alert. We're not going to play it. Not going to play it. Not going to play it. We're going to go ten to three. 
I'm gonna play two minute drill. I'm gonna play two minute drill. I want to get some extended play time here. Have not really been able to get it. So we're gonna run it. Uh, uh, we're ten to three right now. I'm gonna try and run the ball. We're gonna see what happens. If nothing good happens, I'm just gonna. We're gonna pass the ball, but it does look like Kareem Hunt does have the edge. But he's gonna get knocked by Jatavius Brown. All right. Okay, Jatavius Brown, chill out. Let's chill. I'm gonna try to run this. If that safety doesn't come out deep, we're gonna have Tyreek Hill. No matter what here, just gotta have good protection. Good protection. Lobbing a Tyreek Hill. Probably shouldn't have lobbed it. No. Incomplete. I want to run that play again. Especially if they don't have two deep safeties. I'm gonna get the first down, then we're gonna run it again. But, I probably shouldn't have lobbed that. That's my fault. I didn't think it was gonna get lobbed that hard. or I mean, not that hard, like that long. So, that's my fault on that. Tyreek Hill right in the middle of the field. How does the 98 quarterback miss that? How does the 98 quarterback miss that? We're going to punt it away, of course. We're not idiots. But how does a 98 quarterback miss that? Hopefully we get a free release here. Pin him deep. All right, Travis Benjamin. And we're going to pin him at the 20. Decent, decent punt. But our defense has to clamp up here. And does not does not look like we are. Yeah, definitely does not look like we are. Two minute drill again. We're gonna go for it. We are going to get it. Um I wanna run yeah, this play again. If we can get some decent blocking. Ooh no, they have double safeties back there, so you might not have them open. Or they take Watkins and say like they roll coverage to Watkins. Nope. Just gonna pass it. Tyree kill! That's a touchdown. Touchdown. Too fast. Tyreek Hill. 99 speed. 99 acceleration. To the house. That's what I like to see out of my player. 75 yard touchdown. Tyreek. Patrick Mahomes. The Tyreek Hill. It's looking like it's real life here right now. 17 to 13. We're looking good. We are looking very good. Not our defense though. 17. Well, 16, 17. End of game drive. We're not going to do anything. Third down alert. We're going to let our team take this one. I'm going to kick the field goal, though. 52 yards. One, two. That should be good. All right, we're going to go up by four. They need a touchdown to get anything now. They need a touchdown to get anything. We're not going to go in on defense. Fourth down. Fourth down and three. All right, I, I doubt a run. That's the thing. I doubt that they run it here. I'm going to keep the pinch because they are in I form. So they're going to do that. And Melvin Gordon, really, he was stopped in the backfield. He was stopped in the backfield with a slick spin move. We're going to skip this. Big third down stop. We're going to skip it. Third down. Uh, they're going to go for it on fourth down, so... We're going to come in on 4th down. 4th down and 10. I'm going to bring a little bit of heat here. We're going to bring a tiny bit of heat coming off the edges. Did have two guys with 10 sacks, so we have to kind of hope on them and cover Henry. That's going to be intercepted, Nelson. Just take it. Go. Go. Phillip Rivers can't catch you. Phillip Rivers not going to catch him. He's taking that to the house. Steven Nelson. I'm pretty sure it's Steven Nelson. To the house. And we just wrapped up that game. That game is completely wrapped up right there. No way they're coming back. Yeah, we're just going to skip. Scored a touchdown. Skip it. We won. Let's go. We are moving on to the championship round. And I see Super Bowl. I can smell Super Bowl this year for these Kansas City. Okay, guys, so we are in the game. And it is going to be 7 Oh, very, very quickly. 7-3 um, at least. We're going to the Jacksonville Jaguars. That one's definitely not going to happen this year. But their offense is actually humming a little bit. So we're going to come in. They have a very good defense still too. Which definitely hurts. It definitely is not good for us. Um, I'm going to see if I can make a little bit of Tyree Kill Magic. I'm not going to test Jalen Ramsey. That is my one thing. I'm not testing Jalen Ramsey. I'm not going to test him deep. Same thing with AJ Boye. 
I'm not going to try to test him deep. Makes no sense to. Right there. That's a catch. All right. Good job. Got out of bounds. Good first down conversion. See, like Jalen Ramsey's on him right now. I'm going to... Mm, yeah, I make stupid to run in situations like this. So we're just going to run all verts, and I'm probably just going to... We're going to toss it up to somebody. Right there. Travis Kelsey. I, and it says I'm on Sim, too. So you guys can say whatever you want about arcade mode. Is that thus catches that you make in arcade mode? Yeah, but Travis Kelsey, man, absolute beast. All right, good job, good job. And we get hit while we throw. That's gonna be an interception. I was looking for Tyreek Hill over the middle. And we had him with the high point pass, but we're gonna get hit while we throw. And this offense is humming, man. I don't get it. These are the Jaguars, right? These are the Jaguars. And Blake Bortles still their starting quarterback. I'm going to touch Jalen Ramsey here. We need something. Or, now we're just going to check down. Alright, no huddle now. We're going to have to go. Actually, if I can run the stop and go route perfectly, one of these two guys are going to get open. But I need to actually get protection. Go. I had him. I had Jalen Ramsey. I, I had Jalen Ramsey. I had Tyreek Kill. You're joking. Why are you giving me these trash plays? No, we're going for the first down. No, we're going to run halfback angle again. It worked for us last time. They're running man on man. 99 acceleration. 99 speed. If you don't beat Jalen Ramsey man on man, I swear to God. He doesn't beat him. He does not beat him. How? Explain to me how. 99 Excel. Night. I don't get it, man. I honestly don't get it. Let's pin him deep. David Sills is back there. Knock him. Come on, man. Gotta knock him there. They're gonna have it at their 37. They can probably score another. We're gonna get shelled by the Jaguars, aren't we? We're gonna get shelled by the Jaguars. So 10 to 21, we're only down by 11. Big field goal kick, what is this? Fourth and 10. What's the field goal looking like? Decent, decent chances, all right. I missed that. I just shanked that kick. I can't believe I actually just shanked that kick. Could have been, uh, uh, this game's not our game, this is not our game. This is definitely not our game. We had a chance to get right back in there. Fourth down alert. Should have probably went for it then. but mm. Alright, this is where we need like a big shot. And then our defense just needs to stop him. I'm going for probably Sammy Watkins. This defense is... Alright. Okay. Just completely go around Eric Fisher. Just completely rush around Eric Fisher. Okay, this is where 99 speed Tyree Kill needs to come in, you know, handy here. Because, I mean, you would think 99 speed, 99 acceleration, he'd have more than one catch right now. What did I... I was trying to lead him the other way, man. That was a duck by me. That was a duck by me. Okay. Something on offense. Just absolutely something. Tyreek Hill, burn a double. Burn a double here. Good job, Sammy Watkins. We're definitely not still in this game. We're down by 25. So, I don't expect anything here. Had a few fluky plays. Um, one of those plays was my fault. We got hit while we threw, which wasn't good. That ended up for them being a touchdown. That didn't go out of bounds? <sighs> Alright. I think it's about just time just to lob it up and then hope that Jalen Ramsey just decides not to be good today. Yep, got him. I got Tyreek Hill. Finally. Like, you would expect that would happen more with 99 speed. So, defense, can we stop them? We'll go for the onside kick. 
I'm terrible at onside kicks. Yep, that was bad. That was very bad. Terrible onside kick. Yep. They're going to get it. They can get a field goal here. Yeah, we're not coming back this one. I thought we smelled Super Bowl. Somehow, the Jacksonville Jaguars. You know what? Blake Bortles shelled us. So, yeah, that one's fun. But we're going to come back next season. And we're going to try to do better. That's going to be the biggest thing. And I think next season we can definitely make a run at a few things. Let's just hope we can see. Hope we can see everything through. We gotta have a big off season. See you guys. Okay, guys. So there's definitely a few interesting players in free agency, such as Yannick and Gakoy. I was actually thinking about making a bid for Amari Cooper, but our cap room's very low. So I just used most of our cap room on getting Marshall Yanda. Um, he's not gonna be playing guard for us. He will be playing left tackle. Um, just because. Eric Fisher was just getting destroyed every single play. So, we're going to get Marshall Yonda here. I did look through some of these other positions. Not too much when it comes to offensive line. See Amalu, I was kind of looking at, but we have Trey Adams. Defensively, um, we did lose on Reggie Ragland. I didn't end up signing him back just because our cap room was so low. We had to sign back Tyree Kill and everybody there. So, just for the cap room reasons, this is probably going to be our last year. Um, also, because I know the time's getting a little bit hefty. But, yeah, it's probably going to be our last year. We're going to see. Marshall Yonda signed with us. Let's hope Marshall Yonda signs with us. I really want Marshall Yonda to sign with us. Come on. Come on, Yonda. I know you want to. Rejected? Really? Who do you go sign? Who do you go play for? Who is Marshall Yonda playing for right now? Let's see. Yannick Ngakwe went to the Bears. Mark Cooper to the Bills. That's actually a decent fit. Ionitis. Ionitis 95 overall. Holy. All right. Marshall Yonda went to go play with the Broncos. Okay. Eh. But 2020 draft probably only should be showing guys like the first player that we're going to pick in the first round just to the very reason that that's probably going to be the only one that really matters. So, I will see you guys in the draft. Okay, so with this first pick, we'll be picking on Blake Fox. I was not able to get the 2020 draft classes imported. I completely forgot about them. So, we're just going to deal with random my draft classes. Blake Fox, he is going to be a 76 quick development. He's going to start right away for us because Eric Fisher is god-awful. God-awful in this game. I do not know why. And there's a middle linebacker, hopefully... That's going to be there when I pick in the second round. So I'll probably see you guys for that one too. Okay, guys, this is what our team is looking like for probably the last season. Cyrus is a little bit of a quicker rebuild, but it's just you can only go so many ways with a team like this. It's a team that I really just wanted to do just to have some fun with because I feel like we've been doing a few like really, really serious rebuilds lately. Just a team just to have a little bit of fun with today. We're looking very good defensively. I don't know. Oh, yeah, because they're backup middle linebackers. But we're, I think we're looking pretty decent right now we have a lot of good players here and i think we have a legitimate chance to make the super bowl we get 10 and 10 sacks again we get those middle linebacker production i'm loving it man i'm absolutely loving this team and i'm expecting some humongous things from this so let's see if they can live up to expectations and i think i will see you guys let's win our division this year you know what last year we were third tied with the Broncos, but I think we're just above and beyond very good. We're just above and beyond them. This team beat the Chargers in the playoffs. The only reason we didn't beat the Jaguars just because Madden and the Jaguars. But I think we can make it first round by straight to divisional round. I will see you guys there. All right, guys. So our last season was a bust. Honestly, I don't get it. I don't get it. A team that is probably, again, one of the best teams in the league. How? Just how? Um, we will be all, uh, uh, Patrick, uh, Patrick Mahomes had a little bit of a down year. 27 touchdowns, 9 interceptions with 38,000 yards. Is not bad at all. So, don't really know why. Rushing over 1,400 yards for Cremont. Nine touchdowns, four touchdowns for Sean Mills, whoever that is. 
no thousand yard receivers, but sit, uh, Sammy Watkins, Trevor, I just call him Trevor, Tyreek Hill, man, did very good, and so did Chris Conley along with Sammy Watkins. Sacks, oh, 18 let up by the rookie left tackle, oof. 100, really? Our defense must have been piss poor. Wow. All right. Yikes. How's a cornerback lead us in tackles? I don't get that. 31st defense. All right. We're going to look at the awards, and that's where we're just going to end it, because cap hell. Um, I don't want to go through it. Todd Gurley's going to MVP, but... You always see the Chiefs, they go into major cap hell. Ryan Finley's Offensive Player of the Year. They go into major, major cap hell. Kareem Hunt at number seven. Where, because you have to sign back Kareem Hunt, you have to sign back Patrick Mahomes, and then along with all the other stars, it just becomes too much. So at that point is kind of where we just cut it off. Rashawn Mills coming in there. At that point is kind of where we cut it off, and we said bygones, we got bygones from that point. It's one of those things where we wouldn't be able to field a competitive team anymore just because of every contract that we have and everything. We just wouldn't be able to field a competitive team. So it makes no sense to go on because Travis Kelsey would have to be yeeted. Patrick Mahomes or Kareem Hunt, one of the two, would be out. Defensively, Breland Speaks would probably be out soon. Same with Trevor Williams. Eric Berry's contract is up this year. So is Justin Houston's. So it's just the way they loaded up all the contracts. It just wasn't going to work out. So that is sadly where we're going to have to end it. This team has so much potential uh, if we didn't have cap hits. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, sorry for a little bit of a shorter episode again. It was just supposed to be a little fun thing because we just haven't really done any fun rebuilds. We've done more serious, serious rebuilds. So a little fun thing. I'm thinking about doing a fantasy rebuild soon. Um, something I just haven't really done very much is something i honestly really like to do so if you guys enjoyed this episode remember to leave a like go subscribe it only helps me as a growing channel remember to have an absolutely electrifying day and i'll see you guys in our next